Climbing back upon Mount Soapbox for another rant. And what's interesting about this one is it has a slightly different origin story, which started several months ago in one of my live streams. I believe it was one of the hot ring circuits, and it happened to be the one near Cape Catfish, and I just made a point about how I wish there was more to Cape Catfish than what there currently is. And when I finally decided about a week ago to start turning this into a Discuss video, it became a rant. <laughs> it was crazy how that turned out. But I did kind of tease Cape Catfish in this past Discuss vid on Friday. So in case you didn't know it, on the east side of the map of Southern San Andreas, is one of the lesser known visited locations in Grand Theft Auto Online. Except for a gang attack, the lighthouse, and of course a facility just north of that location, there sadly really isn't much going on with Cape Catfish. With the exception of say a few abandoned homes that are for sale, and a really small dilapidated dock, that's pretty much it when it comes to Cape Catfish. And it's such a shame because this is a great location for a small fishing town or fishing village, or whatever you want to call it. Now, what you got is several other towns besides Los Santos. Los Santos is the big city, but then you have, uh, to the left, on the west coast, you have Chumash, and then further up, you have this trailer park village called Harmony, and then Sandy Shores, which has seen better days. On the other side of the Alamo Sea, you have Grape Seed, and then at the very north of the map, you have Polito Bay. And for the record, I've already done a Polito Bay rant. So this is kind of a spiritual sequel to my Polito Bay rant. Now what I would have liked to see in a fully realized version of Cape Catfish as a bona fide fishing town is maybe have it similar to the size of Polito Bay, maybe a little bit smaller probably, most likely, and put the typical stuff that you would expect to find like a, a Los Santos Customs or a, a Beakers. Is it Beakers or Beachers? You know, just a garage for you to go customize your vehicle. An ammunition, clothing store, along with a, a gas station for you to go buy snacks and uh, get some quote-unquote withdrawals from, right? <laughs> Robbing them. Along with maybe a couple properties you can purchase. Like, a, I don't know if we'd really want any two-car garages. I don't know if anyone really has two-car garages anymore, but maybe a couple six-car garages, maybe a couple homes you can buy, similar to the homes up in Polito Bay. That would be kind of cool. I don't know if we would be able to get a 10-car garage, but maybe one of the buildings could serve as a 10-car garage. Or they could put a couple buildings up there to serve that purpose. Maybe not a high-rise building like Tinsel Towers, probably, but at the very least, maybe we could at least have two separate 10 car garages in Cape Catfish in the small fishing village I'm envisioning. And then at least one more building would serve as a biker clubhouse. A few other things that would be really cool to have in this version of Cape Catfish that obviously is never going to happen would have been a lot of stuff happening on the water like boats, people clearly fishing because it is supposed to be a fishing town. Uh, maybe even if we were lucky, maybe a small airstrip, which probably wouldn't happen because Polito Bay doesn't have an airstrip either. That's something I ran about in the Polito Bay video. But at the very least, a sheriff station along with a helipad would be cool. Fleeca Branch, which would serve very well for uh, the new uh, client jobs. One of them is specifically about looking for a bank robbery, then going and stopping the bank robbery and stealing the gold. So that would be another location that you could randomly end up going to when it comes to that particular client job. That comes with the terabyte. And I guess the best visual that I can give you for what I would have liked Cape Catfish to be is from the fictional town of White Pine Bay, which is set in the A&E series Bates Motel, which is the prequel to Psycho. It was actually a very good series. I enjoyed all five seasons. Obviously, this is a fictional town. I think this was shot up in uh, Canada. But still, I like the idea of, of this as a small fishing village. A few houses, a few buildings for properties that you can own, and a nicer sized dock perhaps. The main issue why I wish that they would have done more with Cape Catfish is the same reason why I wish that there was more to Polito Bay because everything seems to happen in Los Santos. That's where the majority of the community likes to hang out and drive around and grief each other and blow each other up. 
But other towns in southern San Andreas, like Grape Sea, Chumash, Plato Bay, Sandy Shores, etc., are very limited. But at least there's a few usable homes and buildings in those towns, unlike Cape Catfish, which has this entire side of the map that could have been something more than what it currently is. I mean, honestly, let's think about this. Cape Catfish, wouldn't you like to have a home over there? Why are the houses abandoned? It looks so cool over there on the eastern side of the map, right there by the ocean where the sun's coming up. In other words, Cape Catfish could have been a decent looking fishing town, but it just feels like such a shame and missed opportunity. I know it's hindsight because when Rockstar made the map, Southern San Andreas for originally Grand Theft Auto 5, and then later on Grand Theft Auto Online, they didn't envision Grand Theft Auto Online to be as big as it is. However, I would say this, it would have made the map even more alive to have an additional town on the eastern side. And it reminds me a lot of the map of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas back in the 3D Grand Theft Auto games, specifically the Los Santos section of the map because you have Los Santos, but you also have several small towns that are north of Los Santos and they each feel like actual towns. They got stuff going on. They got clothing stores, pizza restaurants, etc. But most of the towns in Grand Theft Auto Online feel kind of sort of dead and almost barren or empty. I mean, case in point, like Sandy Shores. That thing needs to be completely bulldozed and rebuilt. I just really feel like Cape Catfish could have been so much more. But sadly, it's just a waste because no one hardly ever goes over there. And yet, it's such a lovely part of the map. I know this is too little too late, but hopefully going forward with the next map location for Grand Theft Auto 6, we will see more various locations on the map, not just a big city. Say, for example, turns out Vice City is the main city in Grand Theft Auto 6. At least that's what a lot of us are hoping, right? But there also has got to be other stuff to it, right? There's got to be a swamp area. There's got to be other little cities of various sizes, maybe even some beach towns. Maybe it's basically South Florida, all the way down to the Key West. And I want those towns to be alive. I don't want them to be virtually abandoned. I want stuff going on in the small towns. I want the ability for us to, if we don't want to live in Vice City, or if we at least want a beach house, say down in the Key West or whatever they call it, the ability to go down there and buy property and hang out. And that's the issue I have with Cape Catfish. It's such a great place to go and check out. It's very scenic, it's very beautiful on the east side of the map, but sadly, it almost feels kind of pointless.